With the sudden departure of former coach Ron English to the NFL, Eastern Michigan had a hole to fill. But instead of giving the position to somebody already on staff and tagging them in with the interim position, EMU decided to do something a little different. They went and hired former USC wide receivers coach Reed Jackson, and he joins us here today in our brand new series here on 105.7 KEMU Radio and KEMU TV Channel 2, our all-access coaches show. Thanks for joining us, Coach. Thanks for having me. I appreciate you guys having me on. So, you know, why don't we start out by talking a little bit about your background? Okay. Uh, I played high school football in Texas at South Lake Carroll. I played safety, a little receiver, and returned uh, punts and kicks. In my senior year, we won the state uh, title. From there, I went to USC and played safety from 2002 to 2005. After I graduated, I was a grad assistant at Northwest Missouri State from 2005 to 2007, and then went to UW River Falls, where I coached the safeties from 2007 until 2010. Uh, after that, I was very lucky to get hired by my alma mater in 2010 to coach the receivers. You know, it sounds like you've been around a ton of good programs throughout your playing and coaching career. So the big question is, why did you choose to come to Eastern Michigan? That's a very, it's a very good question. I think what it comes down to is when I took a look at this roster when they when they offered me the job, I sat down, looked at the roster, and they have seniors in all the right places at quarterback, left tackle, left guard, center, both of their defensive ends, both outside linebackers and a running back who is very experienced and is probably one of the best running backs in the conference. So I, I had to think to myself, why would you turn down a job with that much senior leadership in the locker room that will help the transition for not only yourself but for the players? Um, also, I think it, it's a challenge to come win, to come here and win. Uh, this school hasn't had much success, and I want to bring that success here to Eastern Michigan. Well, we're glad to hear that. We're, we're ready for some success. So why do you think uh, the AD and the president chose you in particular? Again, another very good question. Uh, I think our athletic director and our president wanted to shake things up. Uh, they, they did that, obviously, by, by hiring somebody who not only was an outsider, but somebody who hasn't had any previous uh, coordinating, uh, coordinating experience before. Um, but I also think that because I am so young, uh, they want me to inject life not only into the locker room, but also into the fan base, and I know I can do that. Um, and, and like you said before previously, everywhere I've been, uh, I've been part of successful teams. I've been part of state championship winning teams. I've been part of a national championship winning teams at USC. So I know not only what it takes to get it done on the field, but I know what it takes to get it done behind the scenes at practice and in the film room. You know, there are rumors going around, um, and everyone's afraid that this is just a stepping stone program for you. You know, if you could, if you could tell these people, you know, what do you, what do you have to say to them? Well, I think the norm in college football is you're going to have uh, a coach at a smaller school who has one very successful year or is able to string along several uh, good years together, and they just want to jump ship and get that bigger paycheck at a bigger school. But not for me. I am one who who's going to stay at a program until the job is done, and I'm going to stay here as long as you guys will have me. You know, that's great to hear. Now, let's talk a little bit more about what you'll be doing on the field on both sides of the ball. Okay, well, on offense, we'll be running uh, a style similar to what USC runs, a, a pro style of an offense with a couple wrinkles here and there uh, that will involve more spread, a little more uh, trickery than that. Um, and then on defense, we'll be running a hybrid 4-3, attacking 3-4. Uh, eventually, my goal is to have uh, this defense uh, to get my to get the recruits that I want to come in, and we're going to just run a straight attacking 3-4. Will you be calling plays on both offense and defense? Uh, no, actually. Um, I think one of the things that will help out this team with the transition of a new coach and a new playbook uh, is... The fact that I kept both Ken Karcher, who is the offensive coordinator, and Phil Snow as the defensive coordinator. Uh, that way there, there is a lot of familiarity. These coaches can help me, uh, tell me you know, who works well in what system and, and who uh, struggles a little bit. So that way we can give them some extra time in practice. You know, and for all those who are watching this at home, we have some film from the spring game that was uh, played back in March. What... Coach, tell me, uh, who are some of the guys who really stood out for you? 
Well, uh, first, I just want to say I want to thank all the fans who came out and, and watched the spring game. We had a, a jam-packed stadium there. I, I could tell there was some electricity in the air. Everybody was excited for this new era of Eastern Michigan football. It's um, a good game, Coach. It, it was. It, it was. Uh, obviously, there was some stuff we need to work on still, but overall, I felt like uh, I felt like the team played very well, just considering uh, you know a new head coach and everything like that. Um. I felt like one of the strongest points, obviously, was was our running back Green. He had over 150 yards rushing and, and a touchdown. Uh, as you can see here on the film, that was a very very nice catch by a receiver who ran just a wheel route, and our quarterback made a very nice throw to where only he was going to catch it. Um, I felt like the thing that we need to work on the most, as you saw here on the film, was when our quarterbacks get a little uh, rustled, aren't able to find that first option in the passing game. They want to immediately take off. Lucky for us here. Uh, he was able to score a touchdown because we were inside the five-yard line. But uh, you'll see throughout this game, just like here, uh, they immediately take off whether or not it's a good decision. And I want our quarterbacks uh, throughout this year to learn that it's okay to hang in the pocket, to trust their linemen, to, if, if the first option isn't open, to find that second and third option, and then if not, to dump it down to the running back or the tight end who is their, their outlet throw. Um, our defensive ends, especially on the white team, played very well. Uh, I think they both recorded a sack. Um, our our off our starting offensive line played played decently. They gave up four sacks, but they also had 14 pancakes. That's something that I'm really looking, looking forward to. I like this team to average six or seven pancakes a, a game. And considering how well uh, we're going to run the ball, I think that's that's a goal that's very easy to achieve. So thanks for talking with us, Coach, and uh, taking some time out to, you know, give us an overview and let us meet you for the first time. Well, I, I appreciate you having me, and I hope these fans are as excited as we are uh, in the locker room for this season coming up. I just know we are. So join us next week as we look back at the beginning of our season um, at our first game against Mac West opponent Ball State. If you have any questions for Coach, be sure to leave them in the comment section. Have a great evening, everyone. 14 to 12.